I happen to believe that we can we can not afford not to go back in the exploration mode and go back to the moon and on to Mars. What I think we really need is a major, major goal somewhere out there in the future. You can pick a year. We ought to land human on, humans on Mars. Welcome to Central Nevada, far from the hustle and bustle of city life. This is the Lunar Crater, near the famous extraterrestrial highway. Its rugged terrain appears otherworldly. This 430 foot deep crater was once used as the training ground for the Apollo missions in the 1970s because of the similarity between this landscape and the terrain on the moon. Join me as I explore the history of this massive crater. As one of Nevada's six national natural landmarks, the lunar crater stands proudly as part of an expansive volcanic field brimming with cinder cones, basalt flows, and ancient lava beds. Added to the National Natural Landmark Register in 1973, it remains a crown jewel in Nevada's geological landscape. The crater itself is a mar, a type of broad, shallow volcanic crater created by powerful explosions near ground level. These eruptions occur when groundwater interacts with hot magma, creating steam-driven blasts that leave behind a crater that often fills with water. Lunar Crater's 430-foot depth provides a striking glimpse into the forces that shaped this land thousands of years ago. And the surrounding environment adds to its allure. From the crater's rim, visitors are greeted with panoramic views of extinct volcanoes in the surrounding hills, including around 20 distinct volcanic peaks that dot the landscape. Ancient lava beds stretch towards Highway 6 to the north, where you can trace the black, winding paths left behind by lava flows from millennia past. Nearby, the legendary Nevada National Test Site, renowned for its atomic blasts, lies to the south. But Lunar Crater is purely natural, an unspoiled landscape formed through Earth's geological processes. In the early 1970s, the lunar-like terrain of Lunar Crater became a crucial training ground for astronauts of the Apollo program. NASA recognized this desolate, rugged environment as an ideal place for simulating the moon's surface. And in 1972, astronauts preparing for the Apollo 17 mission arrived in Nevada to refine their skills for their historic journey to the moon. Eugene Kernan, John Young, and Charlie Duke, along with geologist, astronaut, Jack Schmidt were among those who roamed the rugged landscape. They utilized Grover, a ground-based vehicle that simulated the lunar roving vehicle that they would later drive on the moon. This training rover helped the astronauts familiarize themselves with how to navigate and traverse difficult terrain, collect rock samples, and perform checklist procedures under mission-like conditions. Scientists and mission control staff monitored and guided them creating a realistic scenario. Lunar Crater's terrain provided a perfect training ground. The astronauts honed their skills, learning to identify key geological features and simulate their lunar exploration. They practiced detailed spacewalk activities on the crater's volcanic soil, understanding how to collect and categorize rock and soil samples efficiently. They also tested out deploying scientific instruments in preparation for their missions. Meanwhile, a team of scientists back in the control room communicated with the astronauts via radio, just as they would during the actual mission. Flight director Pete Frank observed closely, ensuring that the astronauts learned to tackle challenges while in the field. 
At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, these same astronauts also practiced surface excursions in an outdoor area known as the Rock Pile, specifically designed to resemble the moon's terrain. Wearing pressure suits, they used the training version of the lunar roving vehicle to rehearse driving, collecting samples, and deploying the various experiments of the Apollo Lunar Surface Experiments package. The thorough preparations at Lunar Crater and at the Kennedy Space Center ensured the Apollo 17 astronauts were ready for their final journey to the moon. Their field training in Nevada played a significant role in their successful exploration of the taurus Littrow region, highlighting Lunar Crater's value as a testing ground for space exploration. As the Apollo 17 astronauts descended on taurus Littrow, their steps echoed the practice sessions held at Lunar Crater. The skills honed on the crater's rugged slopes enabled them to collect invaluable geological data, leaving their legacy imprinted both on the moon and in the pages of scientific history. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got a lot more coming. So subscribe. See you guys next time.